Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. I hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday evening. So, let's see if I can get this going. Hi Jean. Hey, I'll be in touch with you tomorrow, Jean. I saw an order come through. Thank you so much for it. Um, I think you're eligible for your perks rewards. Hi, Beth Ann. Hi, France. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Hi, Nick. <laughs> so, it looks like some people are gathering here. Let's get going. Have you seen this fabulous paper yet? This stuff is so beautiful. It's got a neat pattern on one side and then it's got, it's a specialty paper, which I like because then it's a little thinner if you want to do folding or special things with it. It's not super thin, don't get me wrong, but it's a little, little thinner. It's got that foil sheet on it. We're going to be using some of this tonight. Look at these. They're gorgeous. And it, there's like a pattern on one side and then there's the foil sheet on the other. And this is still perfect. There's still time to get this in if you would like to use these sheets for um, some holiday projects because actually they really fit quite well. Let me grab announcements. Let me grab a couple of cards that I got that I want to share with you. Um, let's see. This is from my friend Marsha. What a beautiful explosion of fall. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely love it. So thank you, Marsha. And, oh, this one is for later. And then, oh, here's another one from Marsha. She sent me a thank you card. But isn't that pretty? Love that. That's from that Love What You Do or Share What You Love. I can't remember the name of that stamp set now. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Thank you so much. I really like how you use the, this is a retired netted dotted ribbon that we had. I loved it, but I like how you use the dots with it. Ooh, another one from Marsha. <laughs> Marsha sends me a lot. This is just so gorgeous. Absolutely love it. I'm going to try to um, copy this and do my take on it here soon because I think it's so pretty. Okay, let's see what's in the announcement pile today. Uh, gifts galore. This is, it, we have a subscription service, so if you like to make um, paper crafting projects, but you don't like to take the time, this is perfect for people um, who want to make mostly cards. They're mostly cards, but during the holidays, um, it's usually around Valentine's Day and um, Christmas. Uh, sometimes, I think the last one was too, was um, a treat holder, so uh, Halloween. I think was the other one. This one creates nine oversized treat bags, boxes that coordinate with food safe bags like they show here. But again, these cute little uh, snowmen, I almost said pumpkins, wrong month, wrong month. These cute little uh, snowmen could be used to make cards too. And since it looks like there's one on the front and the back, I'm assuming if there's nine, there'll be 18 of them. So Perfect. Oh, I was just showing you the paper to Eden's Garden. I haven't been able to show this um, online yet, but let me just show you. So my printer is not the best printer, but I wish you could see this in detail. Um, if you go to the website, you'll definitely see it. Stampinup.com, you'll see it. You can just click my Shop Now button and it'll take you right there. But this is like a picture frame and they made a wreath out of this set. I'm gonna show you because we're gonna be making a couple cards um, with this stuff tonight. Real simple, but they, they go together very well. So it's the stamp set and the dies. This is the die that they used on that front. It's um, oblong here, but they just cut it down and pushed it together to make that circular pattern. And I actually have this right here, Eden's Garden. So you can see this. We're gonna be using this long die here tonight. 
um, and some of these sentiments, but so cute because I want to show off the paper. The paper is to die for. So if you liked um, Forever Fern, you'll probably like this, um, except for it's got the beautiful gold foil in it which is uh, Forever Eden. It's a 12 by 12. It is a specialty, so it's a $15. Um, and then they have the gems. Let me grab that because when I looked at them on here, I thought, well, that isn't anything special. But look at these suckers. These have this little gold to that green. It just depends on how the light hits them. And then this has like a real iridescent. And I'm gonna be using these, not just setting them down. Well, you'll see on one of the cards tonight. Um, and so you can buy the whole entire collection if you want. I will say that this is an early release for the bundle. This is gonna carry over in the January, June mini catalog, um, but these will not. These items are probably gonna, it's only while supplies last, so if this is something you want, I'd grab it now. Okay free stamp pack. So any order placed over $70 with me um, during this month and well until they sell out. Um, so this month and next month. This is kind of a, a fun fold. It's very easy. You can use any sentiments you have on hand for any occasion. So this is with the um, in Symmetry Bundle, it's very cute. You earn two perks when you um, order $70 at a time and you get a free stamp pack with it. So, win-win. I am down to my last little bit. I have until Sunday, um, if you're interested in my Be Jolly card kit to go. So this is a PDF tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these three cards. Um, Everything will be pre-cut, and they're super stinking cute. They really are. It's a traditional red and green. And I think for the stamp set, all the embellishments, the paper, and everything, it's really reasonable. It was like $59.50 or, or $59.90, I think is what it is. And that's including the shipping. So new promotion that they have started. I have never in my almost 11 years with Stampin' Up seen them do this. I've seen them add bundles. I've seen them add paper packs. I've seen them give extra product, but I've never seen them reduce the price of the kit. So if you are interested in joining, you get the kit, you get $125 of products you pick. I think that is amazing. For 75, it's normally 99, plus they're gonna pay the shipping. So you just pay 75 plus whatever your state tax is, and that's it. So wonderful time to join. I have a great team. It's a great way to just even stock up on supplies, you know? So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, Piccadilly Parfait, this is my reminder that um, Bill and I will be going live at 4 p.m. Uh, well, I think this kind of covered it. I do have a perk system. If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of a buy 10, get one free. Um, every $35 purchase earns you a point for Piccadilly Perks. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Jean has earned a Piccadilly perk, so I will be in contact with you tomorrow unless you already know the routine and want to just send me what you want. I will get it ordered for you. So this is that beautiful paper I was showing you, the Eden's Ever Eden 12 by 12. It's a specialty, and that's what I'm going to use tonight to create fabulous fabulous projects. So we're doing two because what I'm going to do um, for, here's a project that I did uh, earlier on one of my VIP private groups. So um, this isn't the completed version, but I stamped crooked. So anyway, you get the idea. It's just got absolutely beautiful. Ah, I lost a little gem. So I'm going to be pairing this gorgeous stamp set. Um, for these cards, I'm showing more off the paper, so I'm not going to be doing stamping here, but I am going to be using the sending hugs on one card and the hello there on the other. 
I love this font. Isn't that just really pretty? I think this um, uh, bundle here would be good for not only like your holiday cards or just anytime cards, but there's something about this, the way it's so soft with these die cuts. I really think this would do, I hate to say it, but sympathy cards um, just not use these sentiments. So let's get started. I've got quite a few little pieces here, so I'm going to start with Let's start with the bases. I might as well just fold these. So if you're new joining me, I do do a drawing um, on Friday for my cards. All you have to do is share this video to your wall. And then um, my husband Bill joins me on Friday for live. More to be a cut up than anything else. But um, he does join me and then he likes to draw for winners. So share this to your wall and your name will go into the drawing. One thing that I will say though is Facebook's really cracked down on privacy settings. So it used to show me everybody who went in. And if you share this video, it may not show me. So you need to write share in the comments uh, so that I get that. Okay, so I'm starting off with Evening Evergreen and I'm making two bases because this card we're gonna flip flop as we do some cutting on the DSP. And I wanted um, two card bases for that. So I chose this DSP. This is front and back, front and back. And so you can see it's got that beautiful gold foil. And I love this design on the back. And I, sh I will probably do something. Let me pull this out really quick. I was thinking about this today and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to do something with, we have an embossing folder right here the greenery embossing folder doesn't that look like that matches I thought oh I'm gonna have to do something with that so greenery embossing folder but anyway back to this I'm gonna pull out my paper trimmer I have some um, blades on order but I don't have them in so wish me luck on this one I need some blades so I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these the exact same, but I'm going to cut one on one side and one on the other. So starting with the point of this, I'm going to line this up with the half inch mark here on my trimmer. And then I'm going to take the other point and I'm going to do the two and a half. You know what? Let me see something. I'm, I might change this up. This is, yeah, I'm gonna change this up. Let's go to the three. Oh, I should not probably try to do things on the fly like this, but I'm gonna go to the three inch so that I get a longer cutting area. I think this will work because I cut these pieces out. Let me look, half inch to the three. Okay, I need to move it back to here, here and here. Let me make sure this works. Yeah, I'm going to have enough. Okay. Uh, I'll explain what I'm doing in a minute if this works. If not, it's Bill's fault, even though he's not here. I got to blame someone, right? That moved. Try to get those points right on point. So it's one, two, three down to the three, and then on the half inch mark, holding it nice and tight. <gasps> here we go. Okay, let's see if it did what I wanted it to do. It did. I've got about one and an eighth, and I would have had um, about four and three quarters length. So I'm changing the link on this length on this one. So let's set that aside. And then I'm going to do the same thing, and I need to have those same measurements. So it was on the half inch here, and then one, two, three on this three inch. Now I'm going to question myself. Did I do it on that, that? One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I said, right? Yes. Okay. 
you change things up, then this is what happens. So this piece of paper before I'm cutting it down is a four by five and a quarter in case I didn't say that. So lining this up again, takes a minute to get it just right. That's not just right. I need it here and here. There and there, right? Of course, right. So three, measure twice, cut once. Oh, please be right. Let's see. It is, maybe this will be my first Facebook Live that I don't go missing something. We can hope. Okay, so putting my paper trimmer away, you see I've cut them exactly the same because I definitely want to flip it so that I have one this way and one this way. Okay, now I found the easiest way to get these straight is to just start off with the same, I just have a piece of basic white that I have cut at the same measurements as this paper because I'm gonna glue them on and then that will glue on down. I tried to do it and get it even, but then I ended up not getting my edges even. You guys know my issues with lining stuff up, so we won't continue there. I'll just tell you that I love the green glue, but in this case, it, it didn't do me that well. So I hate covering up this side of the paper, but I've got the other side to show pretty on. And this is how you get two cards. We're gonna decorate them different, but we're gonna get two cards out of one concept. So then all I have to do is slide this into place on my white. Aha, uh -huh, green glue sliding around. There we go. Now, you could just use it like this also, but I wanted to mix it up. So I'm gonna use this pretty side on the big end here. The foil side. All of these products are on my store. So if you click the shop now button at the top of Facebook, it'll take you to my store. These, this paper and the gems and the cotton paper are only while supplies last. I'm gonna make that clear because a lot of times people like, oh, I was gonna order it and didn't get it. So it is while supplies last. Okay, so you could use it just like this too with this piece and then have four, but I'm gonna hook it together with the opposite side. So I love our DSP because it does coordinate so well. And I tend to use a lot of DSP. Um, I'm a simple stamper and I like to let the paper do the work for me. And these are going to be my simple stamping cards tonight. However, I did make that uh, stamp pack. Isn't that so pretty? I love it already. Okay, I did make that just a slight, it's a very simple fun fold that will make a card stack for five cards. And it's just my free gift to you for a $70 order. When you do order, this is a new host code. Please use my host code. It certainly helps me out. Okay, so now I've got these on. Now, before I glue them to my base, let's look at some decorating options, okay? So, I went ahead and on a piece of gold foil, I cut out um, this die. It was the long one that I was showing you. I like it because it's got these little, I don't know what these would be called. What are these called? They're like... Um, sprigs or something. I don't know what they're called. But 
you can put this like this on here. Now, I myself, I like it on the darker image, so I'm going to kind of line mine up on the darker image. Okay, so we've got that. And I think what I want to do with that, we'll do one at a time. I'm going to use a piece. This is, oh, this is a scrap. It looks like it's about three quarters of an inch by probably five and a half. And that's why I was measuring to see if this die would fit. That's what I was measuring. So depending on your angle, you're going to get different, like this would have been four and a half, what I had. But I decided I want more, and then I would have had to cut this off. But I decided... And I hope my hands are up here. I decided I wanted to use more of this beautiful die, so I increased the length. That's why I was changing it up. Okay. So I'm going to grab... Oh. I thought I was all ready to go. I don't have my stamps out. Oops. i got all kinds of stuff going on here, don't I? So I'm going to be using that one and this one. I've been playing with it. Um, as a demonstrator, just a little plug for joining my team, we got stuff a month early, so I've been playing with this a little bit. Okay, sending hugs will go on that one, and I like my hello there, and I don't want any um, halo effect, so I'm just going to cut my red rubber down. It is okay to do this. First of all, they're your stamps. You bought them. Secondly, it, when you stamp and you got that um, halo effect going over the card where the edges kind of touch, it drives me nuts to have to start over again. So it's just easier to cut it down. I cut that one down, but I didn't have this one cut. So we'll get it cut. Um... I like to use a bigger block because I like to see through. Um, that's why I chose this great big one. And I think I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. And I will just try to stamp this as best I can in the middle. See, look at right there. That overhang, I'm going to clean this off and I don't like getting that on my um, projects that I'm working on so I'm going to just cut that down just a little bit more if you have a steady hand some people don't have any of this problem and I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper out here just to test before I stamp this that I have it straight on my block. Oh, perfect, right? Okay, I'm going to stand because I want to make sure that I have, I don't have Bill to tell me if I'm in the camera or not. So that looks kind of centerish. Don't like it. You know how you can always tell? Just not the way you wanted it. So let's try it again. Two sides of paper. So when you have a thin image, don't put a lot of pressure because then you get squish. That's a technical term, squish. And I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now. So let's come back over here to our project and I'm going to just place this on here with a little bit of green glue. We all know my love of this stuff. I find if I put it down on my project instead of on this, I tend to not have excess um, when I cut off that I'm getting goober all over my my shears, my paper snips. Okay, let me stand up again to get this on here. There we go.
Got it. And get my little trash back and come here and just snip off the excess. Okay, now going on top of this, and I'm going to have to do I'm going to go down to that stitching area so that I can get right along here. This stuff is quite sticky. want the stitching to show. Okay, there we go. And then I can come up. Now, because I changed this in mid plan here, I probably could have had this white just a hair longer on that one end, but then I'm going to snip this off. Now look at this is just simple, pretty, just like that. So now let's add this dark green background. on here. Very simple card. Very cute. Now, some of the directions of these gems, there's there's small and then there's large and I'm gonna use the largest ones. They're gold in one way, but when you flip them, they're kind of green, and it kind of gives almost off a little bit of a red, which I think would be kind of cute for, this could say, Merry Christmas. Can you imagine we have a stamp set that has, hold on, I wonder if I have it close to show you guys that would just be perfect for this because it has the, yeah, I don't think I have it right close. Um, but it has the, it would have Merry Christmas going right across there. So, wah! So this one's done. Okay, now with this one, let's just go even simpler here. And let's take a piece of scrap white and I'm going to go right back into that Evening Evergreen, which is the base color. Okay. Sending hugs. So remember the reason why I like circles, those of you who've watched me for a while. I love circles because circles, if you stamp it crooked, are so forgiving. When I put this in then, I can line it back up. I stamped it on this paper going at, at an up slant. But when I come in here with the circle, now I'm gonna do this just a little at the high end. Like north, you see what I'm saying? Instead of, it's a little bit high, so I have a little bit more room down here. And this was the two inch punch. We do not sell these anymore, unfortunately but that doesn't mean you can't use them. Okay, and this is the two and a quarter circle punch. And so I want to layer these up using my green glue, of course, you guys know that. And 
that gives me a minute just to get that even in that circle because you can move that green glue around. Isn't that awesome? Okay, now taking these smaller gems, I'm going to pick off some of these and I'm going to just do like a triangle kind of right down here, like in almost in a cluster. like so, and then I'm gonna take these, almost like it was, see, doesn't that just, somehow that kinda looks like a, a holly berry to me, um, but I'm gonna use it more as like leaves on the side, so that it, it kinda looks like a little cluster of flowers there. Isn't that cute, cute, cute? And then, now, and I've seen, I'll show you something else I've seen uh, someone do that I thought was really, really clever, too, with these gems. Because I wasn't used to the idea of the marquee-style gem, and that kind of threw me for a loop. So let's take this one, and we'll put it on our card base here. But the more I play with them, the more I'm going to have to order some more. They're really fun. And this paper is so pretty. It's it's a little bit richer than maybe the, I think the Forever Fern was uh, from last year was a little bit more playful. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? I totally forgot a step. Jeez. That's okay. Let me peel this off. Totally forgot a step. <sighs> We also have this um, shimmer ribbon, this gold three-quarter inch shimmer ribbon. Jeez, I tell you. Now, when this happens, the perfect thing to do, and it, I'm not going to have it right in front of me, am I? We have a silicone. Here it is. This is our silicone um, sheet. And so this is perfect because it actually, you can set something sticky on it and it won't stick to it. Like if I set it to the surface, it's sticky, it's going to stick, but on the silicone sheet it won't. So I didn't mess up anything, I just, we're going in a different order apparently. So I'm going to look at where that is and I'm going to put a little seal on here and where this one is and put a little seal. And I'm going to come in with this. This is another, if you're one of those people who like simple, quick, easy, I'm going to pair this beautiful ribbon. And I'm telling you, I'm going to show you here in a second. Look at that. Quick and easy. Well, I guess I can't get through one Facebook Live without, just never seems to happen. Let me show you our, here's our gold satin, right? And this has its purpose. It has its place. But look at that compared to this, right? I mean, that looks like metal. And then just for, here's another one of our gold. This is our fine art. And it's got kind of a, you know, it's a, like a almost a burlap-y look. So here's our ribbons. But this is like, whoo. And this is in the mini catalog, this new one is. So it's the shimmer, the gold shimmer ribbon. So now let me put this on and make sure I've got that stamp and seal grabbing that and grabbing it again. Okay, so here we go and get these out of the way. We'll try this again. I'll do another layer of glue here since I have I want to get close to those. I you could I could pop this up too, um, if you wanted to. So let me lay that back down. And another thing is, if you like, um, you can also stick it down, which is what I did before with the uh, tear and tape. And it's that's kind of easy to maneuver on here. Okay, 
this one's just a little different. I got a little frazzled. Let me grab some dimensionals. Yeah, that'll work. I actually prefer the tear and tape on um, on the ribbon. So I'm just going to put this, and it's so, even though I stamped it at an angle, it's so forgiving. Circles are so forgiving. You can just put them right in the dead center. Now, if I wanted to, and I'm going to pull this out here. If I wanted to, there is this little um, flourish. I mean, you could do some gold on here, but I felt like <clears throat> the foil, gold foil, was a different color. I guess it depends on what you like, but you could stick some underneath of there. But they're super easy cards. They're super fun. I made it difficult because I was on live being silly, but um, it's super fun and they're super cute. This is, let me pull that back out because this, I want to make sure that this set, here it is. Yeah, so this is carrying over the stamp set and the dies, but the paper and these gems are only available while supplies last. That's for the uh, designer series paper, the cotton paper, and let me show you what that looks like. So, um, it's a little thicker than like a tissue paper. There's two different colors on it, and um, I've seen people do some stuff. I know on the very first graphic here, they use it, it's very foldable, and let me pull this out. They actually used it to make a bow, and they did it with this gold ribbon on this one. So, and on this little design, they have our, uh, it's our gold shimmer paper. And then here's the fine art floral gold ribbon. And then I brought in this one from the holiday catalog. So it's just a simple design to get a couple of quick cards that are super easily mailable. I would say since I popped this up, I would probably put um, a scrap piece of cardstock just to get it to go through the mailer so it doesn't move your gems around. So I have all of this available on my website. So if you're watching me now, um, be sure to like and follow me here on Facebook so that when I go live, you get to um, get the notice of that. I'm going live on Friday. If you share my video today, um, someone will win one of one card. Uh, I'll have a drawing for two. One will win one and one will win the other. Um, let me show you this. Let me pull these out. Um, so this is the same as that. And this one is the same as this. The only thing different was is I went from corner here instead of down a little bit. So that's why this paper. So make that adjustment because there's just a little tippy tip here that didn't get all the way to the end. And normally the perfectionist in me would have wanted that to get that way. But so um, when you're making the adjustment, be sure to measure when you cut it so that you get the paper long enough is what I was getting at. You can't really go too far past five and a half because the die doesn't fit after that. So, and um, another tip on that die, this particular die, I'm going to pull it out here. So it is, and I'm going to measure it, it's six inches long. It does not cut out at this angle. So put this at the paper's corner if you want it like what I'm doing. There, it cuts out all of this and it does that. But if you were having a project and say you wanted to cut and you wanted to have uh, your silver foil, or gold foil paper come down like this, then all that gold foil paper would be showing up there so that you can cut this image down. Or if you're just using a piece of, you know, um, 
cardstock and you wanted it to come down. So this does not cut. It also does not cut on this edge or this edge. So that's just to be noted when you're making your projects. So if you want your piece cut, and I'm a very visual learner, so I guess I'm just gonna show. So if you want your piece cut, you're gonna wanna put it, if you want it like what I did, put it right up to the edge, which is great because then you're using maximum of your paper, you know, but if you want it longer than that and you want it to cut off farther down with your flourish on it, then it doesn't cut that edge. So just so you know. Okay. Um, well, that's it for tonight. I appreciate everybody allowing me to uh, spend a little time showing you some inspiration. I know these are kind of simple, but I think it's a great way to start when you're starting to get a little bit of inspiration. I have a trouble cutting. I don't know why, but I have trouble cutting my foil DSP. But the thing is, is you can't, it does no good sitting in your file. It does no good sitting in your file. You have to share it. Share it with people. Make a card. Send a card. Make a project like what they did. All right, you guys. I hope you had a good evening with me tonight. And I will be back on Friday at 4 p.m. Central Time. And have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>